Where is your wife? Come with your wife. Come together to me. Come. The marriage is from above, eh? Amen. So don't doubt my challenges. Amen. I, I know if people are finished. There's a problem that they tie your wife's womb. Yes. You understand? Yes. There's a problem in your womb here. That's true. Huh? Yes. And uh, right now, it's like I'm setting you free. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. As, as Amen. I'm speaking with you, I'm setting you free. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you go to the doctor? Yes. Concerning this? Yes. Huh? I, I had one time operation. Huh? I you had, had an operation. operation. Yeah. So let's leave it there. God loves you. My name is Aster Takaler. I came from Canada, Toronto. And yeah, this is beside me. The, the, the one beside me is my husband. And his name is Teshana Bene. So yeah, I should visit him because he was in the, he was a Christian at that time. And then we just met each other and we prayed and we had a confirmation from God. So we got married each other. Sure, yeah, I confirm that uh, it's from God, first of all, because he said uh, uh, the marriage is from God. And uh, we have been married uh, for uh, almost five years now, since 2013, but we hadn't had any children. And uh, there was a problem in our life. But uh, um, we, we were able to stay, uh, by the grace of God, we were able to stay. And now we are happy that uh, God, man of God has confirmed us our marriage is from God. Yeah, praise the Lord. Yeah, it affects in my life, to be honest. Uh, when I see my friends having a kid, like for those they, get, they got married with, like the same year. So, yeah, I always having a little bit depression. I feel bad. I feel lonely. Sometimes when I come back from work or from the church, I feel like where, I'm, where am I going? Like, yeah, it affects a lot, to be honest, yeah. Well, um, at the first year, I was doubting why this not, uh, why we were not having children. But after a while, uh, uh, thanks to God, by the word of God, I got stronger. And I was always giving her courage, but it wasn't easy. Sometimes she get depressed from that. And that also affects me, but I try hard not to show her that I am not being affected by the situation. But uh, praise the Lord, we made it this far. We couldn't be more happier than this day because we came all the way from Canada for this. And we believe it, we will be touched and God has reached and uh, it come to pass that we will have a children, we believe. And our, all our problem is gone from this day on. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you. I was really thirsty to hear these words when I heard that. I just, I had two times operation, but I said, like, because I was a kind of nervous and happy, I said, I had one time operation, and I said, you release it, I'm so happy, I can't e express it. Well, um, as long as um, uh, two believers beli uh, are married, and we believe that is from God, because uh, uh, they made in the, hu in, the, in, the, uh, in, in the house of God, so the only thing that can keep them together is the word of God, and they have to keep going, continuing uh, believing that God will have a day for them as well and continue to pray and be strong that like what we did by the word of God and try to believe God forever, not only for the time being. So I, 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 I encourage them uh, to continue to believe God that he will be doing miracles for others, other believers as he did for us. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, as my husband said, I just want to say them uh, stay in faith trust God. Uh, my name is, uh, praise the Lord, my name is Tashem uh, Abayene, and the wife, uh, she's my wife, her name is Asir Takle, and we came all the way from Toronto to receive the grace of God. Uh, well, first of all, it's uh, the good things that God has put in me, that is uh, to testify and to tell about the grace of God, and, uh, about and most important about the salvation, to tell all to the people of the world and all over. So I had this dream that in me, that I wanted to be confirmed. And then, then that's what I got today. That he confirmed, uh, uh, the man of God, Mr. Mc, uh, Prophet Makanisa, said that uh, I have the spirit of, uh, I, I have this um, evangelist gift 
that uh, I will be traveling all over the world. And he also mentioned that I have uh, uh, the, the, the spirit of Paul, like he wa I want to be like a Paul. And that was always my dream to be. And even when we get a child, we, we were agreed that we will name him Paul. So he was able to identify it and to see that. And that is, I believe, from God Almighty. And I, I, I thank God for that in the name of Jesus. The, the problem that brought me to South Africa is the question of the baby, like to have the fruit of the womb. So he mentioned that one as well. You heard that the first way, you, the first day you were uh, with us, and then today also he said like he anointed us both of us. Uh, to be honest, I'm really happy uh, that I heard my husband's dream. He always said at home, I need to travel to what you call it, Afghanistan, Pakistan. And one day I was joking on him, one day you they will give you your hand, like your head on your hand. But man of God confessed today he confirmed his dream. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Well, wonderful. He's a gentleman, easy going, and you can see his anointing on him. Oh my goodness, you feel it. He's very. Re I really happy to see him. I'm. S I'm so glad to see him. Yeah. I'm. A, I'm. A Overwhelming. It's. It's hard to put it in words. <laughs> and like you said, this man of God, Prophet Mekanenisa. I. I found it very unique, than compared to many others in a way that is he's extremely down to earth, humble, and very approachable. When I saw him on TV, I thought, I, with all that grace, how am I gonna approach him? But really, it was so easy. He's really approachable and make us feel friendly. And uh, uh, that's the kind of model that I want to be, approachable, easygoing, and uh, <laughs> full of grace. And uh, all the thing that he talked about is grace in the name of Jesus. And that's all I wanted in my life, and I found it today here in the house of the Lord. And I give thanks to Almighty God all the time. Amen. Oh, well, he exactly mentioned that there is a problem with my the womb of my wife, that something is tied. And we know that it is tied because we've been to the doctor and we were told that there is a problem that is blocking the ovary the, uh, that coming uh, to the womb. And... Uh, uh, he located that, and that's the answer that we were looking for. And uh, like you said, I cannot be a full person without my wife and myself being happy and not having uh, a fruit of the womb. And we are praying for that, and uh, we believe that it will come to pass that one too. So we give grace, uh, 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 we give thanks to Almighty God for that. To be honest, yeah, it affects me a lot. Uh, usually, during my period time, I feel like heaviness and sometimes like a less bleeding and okay next month it will, ha will happen but never happen and as I said last time one time I was pregnant like it was for three months something but because of the I guess the fibroid they said the blood from your heart from your heart to the baby it's not like connecting because of I guess because I had uh, an operation also uh, before that, because of the scar, I would say that, but I always feel like sad, lonely. Uh, usually also I feel like incomplete woman. I don't feel complete, even though I have like a nice husband, a good husband that respects me, that thinks about me. He's really nice, God bless him. But I still feel incomplete. I'm not complete. Like, who is here? Like. When I see my house, I clean my house for whom am I cleaning? For whom am I cooking? I always in my one, like, I'm wondering. So, thank to God, man of God. Uh, while he was preaching on Wednesday, the teaching by itself, it touched me because he said, I know you have a problems, a lot of problems, but don't lose your peace. The peace is the first one. I said, oh yeah? Because the, that's the one I lost, like, a long time. So. Thank God, I'm healed. Even though he confirmed it, but I just took it uh, as is, the, you know, the word of God. So thank to God uh, that I heard from man of God. Oh my goodness, I can't tell you. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know, I was so excited and yeah, thank to God. Wow, it's awesome. It's everything that I dreamed for. So he even stood up 
and came to touch us. And that was a big privilege for us to see. Uh, I can't say the simplicity of the man of God and the full of the his grace. So I was overwhelmed. I was, I, and I was asking myself who, are, who we are to receive all this gift, all this kind of acceptance. And it was very humbling. And it's a big, uh, a big responsibility to be for me like him, a person like him. So I'm thankful. And I will do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, wow. You know what? I didn't do it alone. I was not a, a good person that I was. Uh, but you know what? I God gave me good people. Uh, uh, those who uh, fear God. Those who talk about his word and the faith and the grace of God. And that's what God did for me. He gave me a good people. I ha they are here, like Menashe and Dawit and others. So those people are the ones that gives encouragement. And so my advice goes like this, that we have to stick to the people of God, to those who ha have the word of God, to those who have the spirit of God. They are the real encouragement. So they will give us a hope of the word of God every day. So the first thing is that we have to stick to the people of God. We have to stick to the house of God no matter what. Once we move away from that, everything out there is dark. So what we did, God helped us with those people, is to stick in the house of God. So we will be feeding ourselves by the word of God to stay in the house of God. And when you stay in the house of God, the word of God will challenge you. And the word of God said, I haven't changed yet. I know your problem. You are out there, but your days will come. So we were waiting for our days, and the Word of God gave me this reason to stay with my wife, to continue to seek the, 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 the grace of the Lord, and shall come to pass. And did, indeed. Praise the Lord. Yeah, the woman out there, I would say, have faith. The women out there, outside there, I would say, like, have faith and be hopeful, hopeful, and then seek the face of, the, like, face of the God. Like, be stick in the word of God. And I just would like to them, just have faith. That's it. If you trust in God, because His word is never changed, His promise never changed. So I would say that I would leave this word.